happen. Funny. Rosie. You are. You, you stop are. that this instant. No, it's the truth. No, you, I mean it. No, I really, I watched that show and you crack me up. Oh, thank you. Now, you did stand up for a long time, didn't you? Yes, I love doing stand up. Yeah. I still do it. In fact, last night I um, went up and I saw Janine Garofalo, who says hello. Who's very funny as well. Very funny and likes you very much. Uh, yeah, I loved it. I try to do stand up about twice a week. Yeah, and now you're hanging out with Brooke. Yeah. Yeah. You're good buddies. You We're hang. very tight. You are. We talk. Yeah. Sure. Actually, she's been really supportive of my um, stand-up career. And um, one night, she and Agassi came to see me in this little club in L.A., kind of an underground place. And um, you know, they're both very famous. Yeah. So. Sure. <laughs> people know them. There are people know who they are, and they they do create a little bit of a huzzerai wherever they go. Mm -hmm. There's a to-do. And so I was trying to make them comfortable, and I called the restaurant ahead, and I got them a table in the corner, and I thought, well, maybe no one bother them and stuff so they came and actually people were being really cool and then um, Brooke also was trying just not to be noticed so they watched my set and they were really great laughers which as you know is important yes and um, then she went to the bathroom but she didn't want to be noticed going to the bathroom so she gets up and she's going to the bathroom in this little club there's like 100 people and she's like this <laughs> <laughs> okay, so she's walking. She's walking. Well, you know, she's six feet tall. Yeah. So she's who's a tall the girl. tall, crazy woman bending down, crawling to the bathroom? Little bit of attention. Yeah. Then she bumps her head on something. She gets up, and I look at her, and now everyone's looking. And then I just start laughing at her because I can't resist. And um, then she's laughing, and across the club, she's looking at me, going, "It's like on the show. It's like on the show." <laughs> like that. So, uh, so she's a little bit of a klutz. Yeah, she and we is. just laugh. And you have fun. Yeah. And your parents, they're supportive of your career, I take it? Well, they are now. Oh. Yeah. They were in the, the early years? No. Their dream, they wanted me to be a dental hygienist. <laughs> that was their big dream, because sure. they thought I'd meet a nice dentist. Mm -hmm. You know, and also, you know, really watch my flossing. <laughs> you got to always watch. And then, the, or they wanted me to be an airline stewardess, so they could fly for free. Well, they're thinking ahead. Yeah. And so yeah. now they must have jumped on the Vicky Now they're bandwagon. all over it. Yeah. yeah. In fact, well, the, our family is very starstruck. We're from Chicago, and they don't, for a long time, they didn't make movies there and stuff. And Chicago in his house. All right. And so um, <laughs> I'm giving a shout out to the peeps. So, um, <laughs> so yeah, so they're, they're starstruck, which I am as well. And it's very exciting to me. Don't you think that it's always exciting to meet famous people? Totally. Like, and I okay. never get over it. No. And I hate when people act like it's not a big deal. It's so huge. It is. Yeah. When you meet someone, you're like, and, blah, blah. And you never know what to say. I I met Paul Newman like in in May, what and do you I was say? I didn't know I was uh, 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 yeah I feel like an idiot yeah or then you see some like I saw I know you love Barbara Streisand as do I yes oh where'd okay. you see him oh my God okay so <laughs> Brooke and Andre Agassi's um, engagement party was at this fancy house that was so big that I thought the garage was the house but that's another story <laughs> anyway I was going look at the size of the house and my boyfriend goes that's the garage and I said why did they live next to a resort <laughs> and that was their house okay so anyway so then. Barbara and James Berlin walk in. Well, I about plots. They walk in, and then, and you don't know what to do, because do you say something? But if you do, then you know, she knows that you're only coming up to her to say, hey, everyone, I talked to Barbara Streisand, and yeah, she doesn't know it's from me. Yeah, it's weird. I, I felt the same thing. I met her, it was like, Dee. but she for sure must know who you are and everything. Well, I'm sure she knows who you are too, but it's just, <laughs> she's Barbara Streisand. She's it's, like, he, it's so, you know, so what'd right. you do? Oh, well, get this. What? So then, yeah. all these famous people started singing, like Neil Sedaka goes up, and he sings, Love Will Keep Us Together. And he's like, I'm gonna sing Calendar Girl to Brooke Shields. Like, it was such a weird thing. But anyway, then um, they asked Barbara Streisand to sing. Yeah. And I grabbed my boyfriend's hand and I said, if Barbara Streisand sings, I'm gonna faint. That's it. And then she didn't sing, because she's shy. Yeah. And then he was saying, well, they had to ask her to sing, because they would look bad if they didn't, but they had to, but then she probably didn't want to, so she didn't sing. She didn't sing. But at least I got to watch you deliberate, which was also exciting. Yeah, I'll bet. Yes. You oh. had that moment of, oh my God, Wait, Barbara Streisand might be singing. Oh, well, God. I'll just play this for you then. Okay. People. Oh, can you imagine? Could imagine if oh, she did it's, that. I mean, that would be too it would much. Be it, I would just it? be sobbing, and then she'd have to hold me and <laughs> cut my hair and comfort me. Now, your dad, I understand, decided 
at a sort of advanced age in his yeah. career to become yeah. an actor because of your success? He, <laughs> well, yeah, my dad managed um, stereo stores um, all of our lives, and my mom was an administrator at a hospital. And then they moved out here, and they liked they loved to come like when, visit the set and all that stuff. So then I sort of got the idea that maybe my dad could do commercials. So I got my commercial agency, Abrams Artist, to sign my dad. <laughs> and my dad was an instant hit, and he started. he's done about seven commercials now. But your dad <laughs> called me up, Kath and told me that he's in commercials. They're said, out of control. They are, and he said, would you like to run the commercial? I thought he had the hoods, but I called so me. Now, did he call or did he have his people call? He called. Really? Yeah. It's very hands-on for him. It is. Usually, you know, he has the team do it. No, not anymore. Really? Your dad is stepping up and taking the reins of his own career. Take a look at Kathy Griff's father right here on, on our show. It's her dad, really. It's a commercial. My name is John Griffin. I'm 74. We asked John to tell you about his health plan for seniority. Ah, Dr. Conley, my hero. John, your blood pressure's perfect. Sounds like my golf game. Hey, there's Donna, my nutritionist. You know, eating healthy doesn't mean eating like a bird. It means eating healthy. Oh, there's me with my dentist, Dr. Mendelson. Okay, I'll see you in six months. Six months. And everything is covered. Cleaning, x-rays, no lollipops. Very oh, good! Oh, my God! Dad Griffin! Oh! Are you proud? Be. He's just, you know, he's just one of those people that he's very incredibly smart and bright and is always funny. And, you know, his whole life, oh, you're so funny, you should be in show business. And now he is. And now it's 74. Yeah. He is. <laughs> well, he's adorable, and so he's are you. Great. Come back Thank anytime you, you want. I would love to. Thank and, you so uh, much. And if you get to see Kath do her stand up, go see it and don't scream Vicky because that's not a real name. <laughs> uh, thank you for being here. Suddenly Susan is the show. We'll be right back.